Hello? Is anybody listening to me? Hello? A TikTok video goes viral showing L.A. County Sheriff's deputies entering a home and handcuffing a teenage girl. The family says they've been harassed ever since, but the sheriff's department says they did nothing wrong. KKL News reporter Lauren Posen is live in Glendale to explain all this, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Well, Pat and Juan, you know, the mother I spoke with tonight told me her teens are just traumatized from the six months after it happened. She says that they're home in Temple City. They're afraid to even go to the local Starbucks, saying that sheriff's deputies are staring at them, and they're concerned that they're going to follow them home. And the mother told me after months of not getting any answers, she headed to TikTok, and she posted this video, which now has over 18 million views. Hello? Is anybody listening to me? Hello? That's the voice of Sadie Cordova. She watched in horror as Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies were inside her Temple City home last October, putting handcuffs on her 19 year old daughter. Oh, I'm calling your watch tonight. Cordova says she and her husband went out to get breakfast, leaving their daughter and 14 year old teen son home. She says soon after, her daughter called her. They were knocking on the door. But I did get a phone call from my neighbor letting me know that they were looking around to see who called 911. Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies say they were there responding to a 911 call of someone screaming, being hit, and arguing. Neighbors, they say, showed them to the Cordova's apartment where the door was open. Deputies say they made it known they were there and tried to explain why, but say the teen wasn't being cooperative, and that's why they had to use force to detain her. Oh my God. I turned on the cameras when she told me they were already in and they already had shoved my son outside, like pushed him outside and they were trying to grab her because she was trying to explain to them that she was cooperating. She was just trying to explain to them, first, where's your warrant? There's nothing happening. It's just me and my brother. Deputies say he drove through a stop sign with his cell phone in his hand and was being uncooperative. They also say both he and the teen told them they weren't hurt. Something Cordova says just isn't true. I saw the fear that my kids have still from the incident. The bottom line for her and her family, she says, is that the arrests were unjustified. And I really look for justice because I don't want to go through this anymore. I don't. Like, we're planning to move and we want to leave this behind us. But really, this is something that they need to stop. Now, in a statement, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department did say that the videos posted on TikTok do not tell the entire story. We also spoke with the family's attorney tonight who told us she is prepared to take any legal avenue possible so this family gets a justice thereafter. Reporting live in Glendale, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.